Hello Sagittarius, I'm here to give you insight and guidance and I just ask that spirit meets you where you're at in this current space and time. So this of course is going to apply to your sun, moon or rising. This could also apply to if you have a Venus in Sagittarius or if you have just a lot of Sagittarius in your birth chart. But just keep in mind this is a general reading. So I've already pulled a card for you guys and this is a card from the Archangel Michael Oracle deck and it says have confidence have confidence. So Sagittarius, just looking at this card, I feel like some of you, um, I'm hearing like you've been through the ringer, okay, maybe you've been through a difficult time for some of you. Others of you, it's like there's an energy of trying to defend yourself, to trying to defend your belief, okay? I see that some of you, this is a shield here, so you're like trying to shield yourself in some way, somehow, um, like protect yourself. Okay, you're trying to protect your mind, your communications, your thoughts, something like that. I'm hearing also for some of you, you're, not, you're trying not to speak up about something. Like you're just, there's a shield in here. Um, but I see like trying to believe your, trying to defend your belief systems, okay? And this is like your personal belief system, okay? Um... What else? He also has his armor on. This angel has his armor on. So it's like protecting yourself. I am also hearing ready for war. Some of you could be ready for war. Um, uh, ready for justice. Ready, ready to step up to the plate. It's like an energy like that. So it says, my prayer. Archangel Michael, please lend me your courage and fortitude. Help me realize that I am one with all that is divine wisdom, strength, love, creativity, abundance, and health. Allow me to feel confident and peaceful about myself in all ways. Okay, so it's really important um, for you guys to really connect um, with your inner confidence. Uh, boost your self-esteem a little bit. Some of you guys' ego or your self-esteem could be bruised a little bit. Um, that's for some of you. Um, and just it's really important that you understand that you're one with the divine and you're one with the wisdom, strength, and love and abundance. Okay? Have confidence in yourself, believe in yourself. Um, I feel like some of you I'm um, hearing performance, some of you are trying to perform. This could be, you know, musically, or this is could be performing at work. You're trying to prove your worth some way, somehow. And in the back of your mind, maybe you feel a little bit um you lack you lack some self-esteem or some confidence okay but I kept hearing performance okay so some of you could be in sales marketing something like that and it's like you you have to perform you know I'm hearing like doing numbers that's for some of you okay not all of you okay but have confidence have confidence Sagittarius follow your dreams and your belief system you know belief system <laughs> As long as your belief systems is not, you know, hurting other, others or hurting yourself. Okay, so what's surrounding you, Sagittarius? Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius. Five of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Daughter of Swords. And Ten of Pentacles. So, um, Sagittarius, you could be dealing with a Gemini person because these cards were in the Gemini reading. It also was in um, Aquarius reading as well. All right. So, surrounding you. So, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. Let me do the counting on. I don't know why I couldn't even um, count. Okay, I must be tired. Okay, so I see here, um, Sagittarius, there is like an energy of lack, okay, for some of you. Um, I'm hearing like despair, feeling upset about something. Okay, this could be in regards to your finances here, you know. Um, I also see here, there's like a um, Capricorn energy. You could be dealing with the Capricorn or have Capricorn in your birth chart, all right. Um, I'm seeing here with this five of pentacles, there's like an energy of, um, like I said, lack, but there's like a lack of faith, like you're losing faith in a situation 
and it's really important for you to have faith I'm also hearing paying your dues okay some of you um, could be in this five of Pentacles energy because you're gonna eventually have to pay your dues okay if, if there is something that you're dead you're going to have to pay for it okay um, That's for some of you, not all of you, okay? This is what I see here. I also see uh, some of you getting out of this Five of Pentacles energy and hopping over to the Eight of Pentacles, which is, you know, diligent work, getting shit done, uh, just doing doing the work, okay? So I see that you Sagittarius are really securing the bag. You, you know, you may have went through a drought, but now, you know, you're in your bag and things are really moving forward here. And you're really learning from... All that you have gone through okay I also see that a lot of you are reflecting you're looking back on how far you have come you're looking back on um, just everything just your past life you know some of you could have went through a divorce or went through some type of separation or something like that and it's like you think about it and it's like you're you know I don't want to say reminiscing but you're just thinking about your past like wow you know, I can't believe I went through that. And, you know, now that you've reflected, it's like, okay, let me move forward. Let me build, let me build this um, foundation. Okay. Let me focus on my money. Let me focus on my business. Let me focus on my family. I'm hearing, let me focus on my queen. <laughs> okay. So you guys are really um, getting out of this drought and moving over to a sense of clarity, understanding, like you're, you're growing. Um, and wisdom okay um, and yeah just this was in this um, Gemini reading and Gemini is your opposite sign Sagittarius okay or you could have the Gemini in your chart but anyways um, I really see that you guys are reflecting and really just taking stock taking a look at everything taking a look at um, just what you've been through okay um, I definitely see some big money here. I see stability here. And I see a desire to focus on that. Focus on what you have. What you have built upon. This can just be focusing on your family. Focusing on your relationship. Building your relationship with the person you're with. Building something stronger. I see that. Uh, five of Pentacles. What is this Five of Pentacles? Five of Pentacles. What is this Five of Pentacles? It's going to come out. Seven of Wands here. Okay, so you could be dealing with the Leo Sagittarius or Aries. Or this, of course, can be you. I see that you're establishing some healthy boundaries. Okay, I feel like some of you um, Sagittarius are healing from a like a relationship or a situation where you felt left out in the cold, where you felt like you didn't have a lot of faith. It's like you guys are moving away from that. Okay. Um... I'm hearing like your past, some of you could have some issues with like a past life, like your past life. There's something that happened in your past that really bothered you, um, but it's like you're creating some healthy boundaries with yourself. You're not allowing your past to affect you anymore. That's for some of you, Sagittarius. This is what I see. Uh, also, it's a need for you to establish some healthy boundaries in regards to money and what you think money is is used for okay money is yes money is a tool you know it, it helps us buy what we need and everything but it does not mean it's the meaning to happiness okay um so I mean, you need to really understand that because there's a, like a there's a um, unhealthy relationship with money and this is like four pentacles so it's like controlling it's being very controlling over money or um for some of you it's being overly uh frugal like you don't want to spend money um, and you don't have to, but if you want to enjoy life, you're going to have to spend money, you know, to go and do things. Um, so just try to take a look at that because some of you could be just trying to get the money and just to lavish this lifestyle and you, you and you feel like that's the meaning to happiness just by acquiring all of these material things that's what's going to make you happy but that's not the case that's for some of you not all of you okay um but yeah i see that you're creating a healthy boundary with money okay and you're choosing not to focus on, you're choosing not to focus on like the um heartache or pain from your past okay some of you could have went through a divorce and you're like okay i'm not going to be focusing on that anymore like you could have been hurt 
by this. That's for some of you, not all of you. Okay, if it wasn't divorce, it could be a separation. Okay, going forward. What is Sagittarius need to know going forward? Also, I see that there could be a concern with the child. Okay, and the concern doesn't have to be a bad concern. It could just be a focus on a child um, because this daughter of swords is an air sign energy. So uh, Aquarius, uh, Libra, or Gemini. It could really be any sign. It could even be a water sign person. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Earth, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay, so I see here the High Priestess and the Ten of Cups and the Temperance. Oh my God, Sagittarius. Wow. Wow. So you guys are really putting in the work. And I feel like once you guys start putting in the work, then you're going to be able to be at peace because this is what the high priestess is all about. Okay. The high priestess was also in the Capricorn reading. So you could be dealing with the Capricorn as well. Okay. Or you could be a cusp, a Capricorn Sagittarius cusp uh, or have Capricorn in your chart. But either way, I see here moving forward, it's like you're really going to be stepping into your intuition. Okay. Look at this. This is somebody that's really dear to you, okay? I really feel like you're going to be having this happy home, this, this wish fulfillment with the person that you're with. Um, if you're not with anyone, Sagittarius, uh, this could just be you having a, a happy environment uh, in regards to your career because we have two number 10s. This could be in regards to your career. The 10th house is Capricorn, okay? Like strong Capricorn energy. Uh, this could just be being fulfilled with yourself, just feeling whole, okay? Um, and then we have the temperance card here, Sagittarius, this is you. For some of you, I see this as reconciliation, working on your relationship with your, your partner. I mean, this is love. I see love all over here, okay? So those of you who are in a relationship, I see that you guys are going to be working things out, okay? It's really important for you, Sagittarius, to open up your uh, mouth. <laughs> Not for the not not for the freakiness, but open up your mouth, okay, and communicate. Express how you truly feel. I'm I'm hearing silent treatment. This could be a desire for the other person that you're with to not be, uh, to not do this, to not to not respond by, um, you know, giving you the silent treatment. Because for instance, somebody can be upset with you and they can just shut down. They won't communicate. Or this could be you. So really watch out for that because if you're wanting a thriving relationship, you can't be in this vibration. Also, you got to really keep your emotions in check. Don't allow the matters of your of the heart, you know, heartbreak or emotions to get the best of you. Stay centered, okay? Stay centered and 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 present in this moment, okay? In every moment. Be the observer. Be a listener as well. But I see this is really amazing. I definitely see like um, uh, for some of you Sagittarius really working on your relationship. Um, also for some of you to really take a look at yourself. Do some introspection. Okay. Um, and cultivate some more joy and happiness in your life. Okay, because I'm hearing bitterness. Some of you Sagittarius could um, be very bitter. And so therefore, it's hard for you to have that happy home. It's hard for you to have close connections. It's hard for you to have, you know, uh, just fruitful relationships. And the relationship doesn't have to be romantic. It can just be friendships. Okay, so it, it, you got to cultivate some balance, some balance in your life. Okay, that's for some of you. Um, but overall, these, these are beautiful cards, like really beautiful cards. What is the Ten of Cups? And this is growing your family as well. Sagittarius, Ten of Cups. Um, this this is like the, ha the house, the car, the kids. It's like really growing your family. I see that some of you are growing your family. Okay. Um, this could just be additions to the family, working on, you know, growing the family. I see that. Um, and then with this... Ten of Cups is the goddess of pentacles. So it's like you are feeling grounded. You're feeling grounded, Sagittarius. You're feeling uh, secure. Um, if this is not you, this is a earth sign person. Capricorn, Taurus, um, Virgo. This is someone who has your back. This is someone who's never going to leave you. Okay. They're, they're here for the long haul. This is what I see here. Okay. They really uh, do love you and care about you. So if you're wondering that... Um, you know, this person does really care about you. Or this could be you that really cares about the other person. This is for so pe the people who are in a relationship, okay? I'm not talking to anyone that's broken up or anything like that, okay? 
um but yeah 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 things are going to be really coming together okay really coming together because we have a five of pentacles ending with a ten of pentacles this is like coming together this is working working on things and it doesn't just have to be a relationship it could be in regards to work going from a drought over to something solid you know things balancing out but it's really important uh sagittarius to create some healthy boundaries with yourself and others okay learn when to walk away okay when somebody tries to provoke you or do things to you to get you in a mood okay do your best to uh, try to walk away from that some of you could be tempted to look back you know or if someone has ghosted you or made you feel some type of way treated you bad don't don't look back don't turn around because you got because you're gonna see my heart breaking don't turn around because you're gonna see me cry okay i don't know if i <laughs> song it right but it was a song from the 90s uh, anyways, uh, create some healthy boundaries, okay? Create some healthy boundaries. Um, and yeah, what else do I see here? I think that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, also, I don't know if I said this already, but codependency, just watch out for that, um, Sagittarius. Um, it's not the other person's job to make you happy. You got to make yourself happy. You got to live for yourself. You know, um, yes, you can be in a relationship and it's all about happiness, but you got to be able to make yourself happy too. Other people can't do that for you. Okay. So that's going to be the end of the Sagittarius reading. I hope you guys liked it. If you would like a reading with me, feel free to send me an email and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day and God bless or rest of the month. Excuse me. <laughs> God bless.